God stopped those prophets. What inspired them with that perfect accuracy? Not only that, but the prophets told what he would do. The prophets even saw him born, where he'd be born, how he'd be born. Not an ordinary baby, just a baby born to some woman. It said he would be born a mysterious way. He would be born of a virgin. A virgin shall conceive. What would strike a mortal man to make him see that hundreds of years before it happened perfectly, accurate, exactly on the line? Talk about testimony of a supreme being, a living God. Not all that, but told where he'd be born and how he would be born. Told what the world would say about him. Told the very signs and things that would follow him to prove he was Messiah. Prove that he'd be rejected. And even in the Spirit, groaned his words from the cross hundreds of years before he was born. David in the Spirit, as I like to refer to it, as Jesus said there, why did David in the Spirit call him Lord? David... Not David, but David in the Spirit. There's a lot of difference between David and David in the Spirit. There's a lot of difference between church and church in the Spirit. Why did David in the Spirit call him Lord if he is his son? Saying, the Lord said to my Lord, set thou on my right hand. They could ask, answer him no more, ask him no more questions after that. But David, in the 22nd Psalm, fell into a spirit, the Spirit. And when he did, he even gave the words that he groaned at the cross, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? All my bones, they stare at me. And how they pierce my hands and my feet. Yet he was wounded for our transgression. Come to the other prophet. Bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace is upon him, and with his stripes we were healed. The accuracy, the perfection of those prophets. Not one word do they speak about him or what come to pass. The last seven prophecies give of him was answered in the last seven hours on the cross. How that every word was fulfilled. Not one thing was left undone. What does it speak of? A supreme intelligence. It wasn't those men. Those men were just men like you and I. But it, they were inspired by a supreme being which was giving testimony that we in this generation and in the generations to come and all the generations between man and here could look upon his word and know that they are true. It's a testimony that the word of God is truth. All these works are perfect. They're perfect in on time. They don't miss one hour. Sometimes we think they're going to, but they don't. After it's over, we've seen it couldn't have come any quicker. It couldn't have been any better. It's perfect and on time. 